today I'm focusing on an interesting breed watch, the Tudor Black Bay Harachis, with reference number 79230G. The letter at the end of the reference number indicates the color of the bezel, and in this case, the G stands for green. The Harach edition was introduced in 2017, and it has been available ever since. Rather than being a limited edition, the watch is a special edition that's only distributed through Harach, which means that to purchase it, you must visit Harach in London. But it's not as simple as walking into Harrods and buying one. Due to the high demand for this model, there is a waiting list. I'm not sure if the purchasing process has changed in recent years, but in my experience a couple years ago, I had to wait about six months before receiving an email that there is a watch available for my purchase. I registered for the waiting list via email, but it was necessary to pick up the watch in person, as Harach doesn't ship these timepieces. Once I received the email, I had seven days to collect the watch, but thankfully the staff at Harach kindly extended the time frame to 10 days, allowing me to arrange a trip to London. It was also an option to authorize someone to pick it up on your behalf. The list price of the Harach edition is same as the list price of the regular Black Bay Heritage model but due to its limited distribution, it's currently selling a little over its list price on the secondary market. In terms of specifications, there are no differences either between the regular Black Bay Heritage and the Harrod Edition. Both are equipped with Tudor COSC certified MT5602 in-house automatic movement. The watch has a pretty good 70 hours power reserve and it ticks 28,800 beats per hour. The watch is 200 meters water resistant and it has a 60 click rotating aluminium bezel that feels sturdy and is comfortable to use. The watch has an oversized screw down crown decorated with a Tudor Rose logo. The crown is referred to as the Big Crown and it pays a homage to the Tudor Submariner reference 7924 which is known as the Big Crown Tudor Submariner. The crown feels silky smooth to wind, and its size makes it easy to use. The watch also has nice domed crystal, and overall Black Bay watches have a cool vintage-inspired design. Dimensions are also the same between the Harrods and the regular model. The case of the watch measures 41mm in diameter, the lug to lug with is 50mm, and the watch is nearly 15mm thick. Thickness makes the watch feel bulky, and it may not fit under every sleeve. In my opinion, if the watch were a few millimeters slimmer, I would wear it more often. Having the Harrods edition available in 39mm Black Bay 58 case would be great. So if there happens to be someone from Tudor watching this video, please make Black Bay 58 Harrods edition happen. The watch features a 22mm bracelet that tapers down to 18mm. The bracelet has a nice satin finish and it feels high quality. It has a safety clasp which feels solid and secure. The clasp is actually quite small compared to clasps of other modern dry watches. Small clasp looks good, but Tudor has probably managed to keep it small due to its simplicity. It doesn't have a diverse extension nor quick adjustment. The absence of quick adjustment is a minus. Another minus are fake rivets. Like many other Black Bay models, the bracelet has fake rivets that serve no real purpose other than to mimic vintage Tudor watches. In the past, links were held together with actual rivets, but modern Tudor uses solid links, making these so-called rivets purely decorative. The differences between the Harrods edition and regular Black Bay heritage are only cosmetic. The most obvious difference is the Harrods trademark green bezel. This combination of green bezel, gilt dial with cold snowflake hands and creamy indexes provide a nice warm presence for the watch. The Harrods edition has also little green details. The tip of the second hand and the water resistance marking on the dial are green. Another little cool feature is a feet first dial, which means 
that the depth markings in feet are printed before the meters on the dial. This is probably because the British used the imperial system for measuring depth. Each hatter tradition is numbered, and the unique number of the watch is etched on the case back. There is no official information on the total number of watches produced, but unofficial sources from forums and social media suggest that they have surpassed the 10,000 mark. Furthermore, the case back bears the hatter's logo and the text special edition. Unlike the regular model, the Hatter Tradition comes with an additional high-quality fabric NATO strap. The strap is very comfortable, and I like how it changes the character of the watch. Overall, it's a cool hefty watch. It's somewhat a rare watch. Occasionally they come across at watch meetings and on watch forums, but it's unlikely to run into someone wearing it in an elevator of a department store. It's more special than an average Tudor, which you can find in your local 80s display window, but it's not even close to the most extraordinary Tudor ever produced. If you plan purchasing one new, and you happen to live outside the UK, it's likely that acquiring the watch will require some effort. But it can be a great excuse to plan a trip to London and make the watch buying process memorable. Whenever I wear the watch, I remember the weekend I traveled to London just for this timepiece. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.